Enrique Jurado. He is singing at the inauguration. We urge you to stay with us for this hour. While President Morales was not able to join us today, and we hope he will be with us tomorrow for the hour, we're joined now by the organization CONAMAC and its spokesperson, Gambino Apata Mamani. Uh, they have traveled three days to come to this World People's Conference on Climate Change and the Rights of Mother Earth, or in Quechua and Aymara, it's known as Pachamama. We welcome you to Democracy Now! Talk about why you are here. Bienvenidos a Democracy Now! Pueden hablarnos un poco acerca del por qué están aquí. Uh, muy bien, gracias. Uh, saludarle desde well, la ciudad de Tiquipaya. I'd like to extend greetings to the city of Tiquipaya, the whole world, Abayala, the Mother Earth, from the Council of Traditional Communities, I myself, and from the Department of Oruro. The reality where I live is by the border with Chile. It took us three days to get to the city of Cochabamba from our homes where we have come together to show the world that we've gone through so much sacrifice, wind and cold to get to this place, rain and indeed hail in some places, to be able to show our reality and make known the situations that we're facing, particularly regarding pollution. Can you talk about the effects of climate change, of global warming here in Bolivia, on your community. Puede hablar de los efectos del cambio climático y calentamiento global en sus comunidades? Bien, gracias. Que el quien viene, vengo de una cerro nevada a snow-capped mountain that for thousands of years has been uh, snow-capped, uh, known as the Cerro Cajama, where we ourselves have seen, well, I can tell you, when I was six years old, I saw that the snow it showed different colors. At a very high, it was at a very high altitude that one would see the snow. I'm talking to you about 1967 and by 2000 and up to 2005, but there have so been so many changes in the snow. Those different colors that had existed that were at the summits and the different designs one would see in the snow, well, that has now disappeared with the uh, contamination of and the, and the warming up of the planet. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk about what you're hoping to accomplish here at the People's Summit on Climate Change? Nos puede hablar de qué es lo que esperan lograr aquí en esta cumbre de los pueblos sobre cambio climático? Nosotros esperamos los resultados, aquellos hermanos we are hoping for results that those brothers who have contaminated our Mother Earth, our Pachamama, as we call it, this Mother Earth, well, we want as a result that the capitalists who dominate this world and this planet with their knowledge, which inflicts harm on a Mother Earth, well, the result is that we want them to acknowledge this situation, and we also would like that their industries adapt to the planet, that they stop this abuse, that they stop polluting our environment and uh, polluting the uh, atmosphere. You are part of uh, one of the 17 working groups here that are coming up with proposals to deal with climate change. Your group is on alternative financing. What are you doing in that group? What do you mean alternative financing? Ustedes eh, están, eh, forman parte de una de las 17 mesas que están elaborando propuestas y el grupo en el que están trabajando está hablando de la financiación alternativa. Si me puede uh, con, eh, explicar a qué se refieren cuando hablan de la financiación alternativa y qué esperan lograr en ese sentido. Eh, 
Bueno, al respecto, como Ayllo, Consejo de Ayllos Marcas del Cuyasudo, estamos para poder the various working groups that have been uh, set up in order to make our points and put forth our needs que hemos visto en la vivencia para and poder to share our experiences que nos pueden, y estaríamos viendo nuestras necesidades para poder plantear pero el que and putting forth our needs I myself am participating in de los working group 12 on financing I wanted to ask Hermino, who is standing next to you, how global, how climate change particularly affects women. Quería preguntar a Herminia, que está a su lado, de qué manera el cambio climático afecta sobre todo a la mujer. Bueno, gracias hermanos, hermana. Thank you, Realmente. brothers and sisters. I extend greetings nationally and internationally. I am Herminia. This is an important question. Yesterday and the day before yesterday, uh, we've come over these, to this uh, summit here in Cochabamba. There are so many people from Bolivia and from around the world who have come here to it. it. Bolivia is impacted and internationally there's an impact. It's not just Bolivia. Us women in Bolivia, we live with our small plots. Sofrimos más, sofrimos más. And we suffer more. De nosotros, mamá, tallas, es, esclavos. Us women work like slaves. Este es el Zekat Nove, este... Este viene en este... Yo soy de Potosí. I am from Potosí. Potosí, este capitalista llega. And... Capitalists come to Potosí, where there is a mountain called Huayna Potosí, but the wealth is no longer there. It's all, the mountaintop has been practically removed through mining. And that is why we say poor Bolivia. And most of us from our community no longer live in Bolivia. Most live in Argentina. There is no life here in Bolivia. So from 2005 to date,